Hi guys, this is Arise Game back with another tutorial of AutoCAD 2016 Essential Training. In this in this video, we're gonna have a look at few commands of AutoCADs. We're gonna have a look at stretch, lengthen, trim, and extend. So first, let's have a look at the stretch command. I've got this drawing here, and what if we wanna move this part of the drawing all the way here? So I use stretch command by going to my modify panel, click. And the key thing here is basically you have to use stretch command by using a window selection. So I go and select this object by using window selection and I hit spacebar. I give it an arbitrary base point right there and I just move my cursor. As you can see that our room is stretching. So I click here. Now this room has been stretched. Stretch command is pretty powerful in AutoCAD but with experience and with the time you will get to know how to use this com this command so just gonna show you quickly one more thing that it's all about selection the way you select the object and use stretch command you will gain the experience by the time so I'll go and select this stretch command again and now I want to select this part hit spacebar as you can see I've got these two objects selected on the right hand side these two lines are selected these doors are completely selected so I give it an arbitrary base point right there and I move my cursor as you can see I can move the doors and the middle wall in these two rooms so if I turn off my auto by pressing F8 I can even stretch wherever I want as you can see stretch command is pretty powerful but I turn on my auto and I just stretch it a bit here. So that was it about stretch command. Now let's have a look at the lengthen command. So I'll draw a line to show you how a lengthen command works. So I draw a line about here. I measure the distance of it. So I've got distance about 25 feet 4 inches. Here. So the lengthen command is in the modify panel. If you click that arrow and you get the lengthen command here and now it's asking me to select an object so I'll select this object and it gave me a length of that as well so I select it one more time and I hit spacebar and now specify the total length or an angle you can specify the angle as well or you can give it a total length so I want this total length to be start from here and go up to the mid and now it's gonna ask me select an object to change that that was the length so I'll go and click here I'll right click here so each side I'm gonna click so it's gonna make this object to that length lengthen command is useful sometimes while working on your 2d drawings okay so that was it about lengthen command I hope you understood Use this command and you will gain experience and you will get familiar about these commands by the time. So now I'm going to show you a trim command which is my favorite command in AutoCAD. So because I use this trim command all the time while I work on a 2D drawing. It's the most useful command. I reckon trim, extend, fillet, rotate, move commands are the most useful commands. If you know this command you can work and make anything you want. Okay, let's have a look at the trim command. I'll draw a line here. I'll draw another line. And I'll draw one more line about here. Okay, so I've got this object here. And what I want to do, I want to trim this part of the line. To do that, I'll go and select my trim command. And it's going to ask me to select an object. So this is my object. Okay hit spacebar and now what I want to select what I want to now if I hover on my cursor here you see this line is gonna get trimmed if I go click here this line is gonna get trimmed by this intersection of these two lines so I click here I've got this line trimmed okay so one more thing I want to show you about selection here let's say I got this line here I will just hold and stretch this vertex over about here and I copy by typing CO, hit spacebar, I'll copy one, two, three in line. Okay, so now 
I want to select the subject. Let's say I turn on my trim command and I, my subject is this line and I hit the spacebar. Alright, and now if I click here because I selected my subject now, so even if I click here, it's gonna get trimmed all the way to there because this we got a few more intersection here as well. Let's say we got one, two, three intersection. The trim command should be trimming just from here and then here and then here. But if you specify a subject, it's gonna get trimmed all the way to that subject. So if I click here or here, it's gonna it, it, it will be the same thing. Okay, so now one more thing I wanna show you is let's say I will draw I will extend these lines. I'll show you the extend command in a moment, alright? Okay, so I want to trim this part, right? This is called fence selection. If I go and select my trim command and I will hit spacebar one more time because I don't want to select anything. And I will select this fence selection. You can turn it on by pressing F and spacebar or you can just click here. And now as you can see I've got a line there. So anything it crosses an intersection, let's say I will start a line there, I'll start a line there, start a line there, and start a line there, it's space far, everything is gone. Whatever that intersected that line, it will be gone. A trim command wouldn't work, let's say you got this line here and you want to trim from here to here. That would not work because there is nothing to intersect this line. It will you can do that by using the lengthen command. But if you want to trim anything, it has to intersect to something. Okay, so now we have a look at the extend command. Extend command is pretty much the same thing, but it's just do opposite. It will extend the subject and object to the specific area. Let's say I'll go and select extend command. I want to extend this to here. So I don't want to select any object right now, so I click, right click, one more time, and now I've got these options there, and if I click here, and I click one more time, one more time, that line has been extended. So I go press U, undo, and now with the subject selection, I go select my extend command, and I want this line to be extended all the way here. So for that, I have to select this subject, alright? Now I've been selected, now if I enter one more time and now I click here, it will be extended all the way, it's gonna skip these two lines. So you can use the fence selection for that as well, let's say I've got, I'll just undo and I've got that, that, that and I can use fence selection as well, I go extend, I wanna extend this to here so I hit spacebar and I go fence selection so I go from here 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 so you got the extend selection there alright guys that was about um, it about these commands I hope you liked the tutorial and it drop down any comment if there's any questions about it and I'll see you guys in the next video Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel.